Why, hello everybody! It is time for some more Tears of the Kingdom! Today, my plan, which I do kind of have one, is once again to do what we were kind of doing in the last episode, explore the places that we haven't yet. First thing I do remember though from the last episode is there is a Korok right here. Where is your friend, little buddy? Tell me where your friend is. Uh, oh. Okay, another decently far away one, but once again, all we gotta do is make my ultimate flying machine and everything just becomes trivial. So then we could also do is get to that Skyview Tower and explore the Dueling Peaks, because I have yet to do that yet, and I think there's a Dueling Peak stable as well, so... Jeez, dude, there's a lot of stables pretty close by. I'm just kind of not realizing that. Here you go, buddy. You're here, yep. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. There we are. Good job. Very nice job. Okay, I think I might actually head to that Skyview Tower. Hmm. After I explore this way. I do want to get there, hopefully later today, but... There's just so much stuff that we gotta do, dude. This game is just massive. It really is. And there's probably a Korok under this bridge, so let's go under the bridge, not on top. Korok? Eh, there probably is somewhere. Aha! See what I mean, dude? I found it. I just gotta send up right through that. Here we are. Korok? Can I please have the Korok seed now? I did a good job, right? Hey, there we go. <laughs> what did I say, dude? What did I say? There's always a Korok on a bridge, dude. Hiding somewhere. East Post Ruins. With a shrine nearby, that's what we like to see. Hmm. Oh, Aracudas, uh-oh. There's actually quite a few of them, what the heck? Jeez, dude. Why are there so many Aracudas? I mean, there's only three, but still. That's a good amount. On the bright side, it shouldn't be too hard to beat them all up. Ow. Look at that, we got the defense now, dude. I'm not worried about anything. <laughs> not against blue bacoblins. Remember when these guys were scary? Not so much anymore. In fact, was I ever scared of blue ones? I don't even know. I think the black ones were scary for a time. But now I think about the black ones and I'm like, eh, that's free, dude. The black ones are free. The silver ones are what's scary nowadays. Do you guys think there's a Korok on top of that? There is not. Then again, there are lots of flags, so... Who's to say? I see an armored silver Boko. That's a little tricky to deal with, but... Thank goodness for the bomb arrows. Immediately one-shotting the armor, dude. So handy. Is that a fire one? I think that's a fire one. Wave? Uh, oh, I always miss the wave. I always think it lasts longer than it really does. I don't know if I've taken a picture of this guy yet. Let's see. It's pretty darn close. Hey, pal. Yeah, let's see. Have I taken? I don't think I have. Yep, I haven't. Cool. Well, can't say that anymore. And you're dead. <laughs> Your 300 HP does not matter. Now we have a ruby sword. Now I have, well, the equivalent of a fire rod. Woo! We got a chest here as well. Ugh, looks kind of rusty. Oh, oh. Speaking of rubies, one for free. So it doesn't look like there's a well in these ruins, but I keep hearing about the shrine, which is right over here. Anything over here, though? Okay, I'll come to the shrine just a second. I just want to explore the rest of the ruins. Whoa, that's a lot of rush rooms. What the heck? That's a lot of rush rooms. Oh my goodness. Don't mind if I do. Okay, uh, we'll get to that after the shrine. I just want to finish exploring the ruins, see if there's any, like, wells or anything, you know? Seems to be a lot of blue-based, uh, enemies around here. Which is very easy for me, as long as I don't have to fight silvers constantly. Hey, another blue mabo. Oh, you broke that open for me. Wait, that was the chest! Huh, I guess the chest just had arrows in it. Ah, Traveler, hi there. I haven't seen a Traveler in a bit. Hi there. Hmm. You appear to be a normal Traveler. Forgive my impolite stare. I'm a Gudo soldier on a mission to hunt down the Yiga clan. The Yiga, if you are lucky enough to not have met them, are rascals who like to uh, accost travelers on the roads. And if that wasn't enough, they're also masters of disguise. The fiends masquerade as ordinary travelers, and then, when your guard is down, they strike. Ooh. Wherever your journey takes you, keep a weather eye out for the Yiga clan. Okay, thank you for the uh, warning. Well, man, can I take a picture of that Gerudo shield? I sure can. Let's go. Oh, yo, look at that. She's ready to fight. Hold on, can I take a picture of that sword, too? Oh, uh, I guess not. <laughs> she put it away before I even had the chance. Oh, here we go. I looked around this entire ruins, haven't found too much interesting, but the chest under here. And I don't think I've seen one of those little door things in a while. Huh. Purple ruby. Can I fuse with that? Hold on. It's a big old door. Metal plate. Plus one? That's it? Really? Huh. And the name of the shrine will be... Let's see here. Kamizun Shrine. Alrighty. Well, time to get in there. Ooh. Got one of these again. The Shrine of Prisons and purifies the ancient evil. Ooh, spooky. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Okay, we're still kind of in the baby area, though, so this shouldn't be too tough. I wouldn't think. 
Proving Grounds Beginner. Yep, this should be easy. Uh, yeah, even gives me like arrows right at the start for free. Okay, uh, that's a good weapon. I want to see if I can steal that. Um, you know, these all seem like level two stuff. I think the first thing we're going to do is, yup, there we go. Uh, I guess they could grab that weapon there. Hmm. Okay, they're already coming after me. Careful, careful. Oh, it's a big weapon. Okay. Oh my gosh, the damage is crazy with it. Boom! Look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. Kinda free. <laughs> they're all like level two, but we can still beat them without too much trouble. Because they all have like good weapons and stuff that we can use. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, actually, you're a more advanced one, I think. Woo! That did almost kill me. Wow. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. As long as I don't get hit one more time, we'll be fine, dude. We will be fine. <laughs> I guess now's a good time to say I'm finally happy that I have five hearts, because I definitely would not have lived if I didn't. Here we go. Ooh, the one shot? Let's go. Okay, this should be free. Oh, wait, the one with the spear. That could one shot me. Careful. Spears are very quick. Hard to dodge. And there we go. <laughs> well, didn't even get the chance to use that big thing over there. Huh. Your equipment will be returned to you. That was like super free. Like, mega, mega, mega ultra free. <laughs> but whatever, you know. This is supposed to be, like, the first one that you'd be introduced to. Oh! I love the spike there. I love the spike ball because they're actually, like, decently powerful. Let's see. If I add it to my royal broadsword, it'll do plus nine. Yeah, okay. I thought it was a little better, but that's not bad. What about this? Anything in here? Nope. Well, we did it. Wasn't too tough. Again, we're in the beginner area. <laughs> Spring shield 50? What? In the beginner area, really? I mean, okay, might as well get rid of my Boko shield. I don't need that. <laughs> Dude, the spring shield looks so funny. Oh, you know what? When enemies hit it, they'll probably just go flying. That's actually pretty cool. What the heck? I didn't think about that. I mean, I know I know they do that with the mushrooms, right? When you have a mushroom, or like, I guess if you have a mushroom on your shield or like on your, uh, on your freaking weapon, it, it'll just become like springy. Well, it depends on the mushroom, but I think like Hylian streams do that or whatever. So the shrine's done, but now I want to check out this uh, chasm here. Mainly to get it registered on the map. Let's see, what is this going to be called? Forest of Time Chasm. I guess we are kind of close to the uh, Forest of Time. I'm pretty sure it's actually like right... Yeah, right here. Huh. Okay, well, we're going to jump down here. I pretty much already assume that I've explored this place, but we'll see. Uh, yep. Yep. Right on top of the uh, statue, huh? Okay then. Well, hi there. <laughs> uh, there's a chest, or sorry, a freaking uh, tent over there. What? Hmm. Is that Yiga? Where exactly am I? Near the Grove of Time. That's right. No, I think I've talked to this person over here before. Have I? It's definitely Yiga, but still, it lit up. Research. Yeah, that's Yiga. Look at the cleansing light. The rumors were true. It really can restore uh, restore vitality lost to gloom. Yeah, I knew about that, but whatever. Oh. That's right. The bright core of this gigantic tree has the second power to heal vitality lost to gloom, or so they say. But when I got here, the light was weak. It wasn't able to heal anything at all until just now. I was watching and you know, it was you. You lit up this tree, didn't you, Link? It feels like something the arch enemy of the Ika clan would do. As does being fooled by my disguise. I'm taking you down. Yeah, I figure. I figured. Well, this is to be expected, I suppose. Uh, I want you to hit my shield, though. I just want to see you go flying. Come on, hit it. Hit it. I dare you. No, not like that, bro. Not above me. Charge at me. Charge at me. Charge at me. Please. Here we go. Come on. Oh, what? You didn't even go flying. Well, what's the point? <laughs> They're supposed to be like Looney Tunes, bro. Ooh. That was not my intention, but um, but I'm not going to waste my durability. <laughs> well, easy. Thanks for the uh, mighty bananas. That'll help me out with uh, uh, getting attack buffs, I guess. Okay, well, since we already know we've explored this area at least a little bit, I'm just gonna head on back up. Look at that, there's another shrine right over there, bro. There's so many shrines that we gotta explore, dude. They're crazy with it. This is also really, really big. Uh, I kinda wanna invade this. Look at how many monsters are here. I'll do it, why not? It'll be fun. I just wanna see what the reward will be, you know? Can't help but be curious. What the? I didn't even do anything. They must have done it. They must have done something, dude. I, I didn't do a thing. <laughs> I was too busy beating up a, oh dear. That's a lot of blue ones, huh? Well, all I gotta do is attach a bomb, blow up their bombs, and then they're all dead. Wow. 
I was expecting them to go scatter, but I did not think they'd all die from that, huh? Okay, you're the only real threat, you moblin. Oh, the spring! He got springed! Let's go! Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually just Looney Tunes, bro. Oh my gosh. Sheesh! That took a while, my goodness. Silver moblins. Did I even get a- I don't think I even got the horn from it. That's unfortunate. Huh. What I'm really after is like the horns when I defeat the silver ones because they're the they're, that's the whole point. You want the good weapons. Yo, that moon is rising so fast. Anyways, the rest is free. Are you the last one, really? I think you are. Yep, it was the last one. And our prize for destroying the monster base is a sapphire. You know what? That's fine. I'll take that. That's a good freaking prize. Hi, Keese. I've been meaning to take a picture of you. Finally, I have my chance. Also, give me your wings. I want your wings, you stupid things. Actually, not. I actually don't want the wings. Now I think about it. I want the eyeballs. The eyeballs are what homes in on the enemies, like the Aracudas and whatnot. So yeah, I, I changed my mind. Wherever you guys are, there's a Korok that needs help. Don't worry, we'll help you right after the Tenny Ten Shrine. Ben Tennyson, more like Ben Tennyton. Oh, that was so bad. Unfunny jokes aside, it's time for combat training throwing again. What? I already did this! Huh? This is just like the one with the bow. Why were there two archery ones? Okay, this one better be like a little harder at least. Surely. Oh, weapons! The shrine purifies the ancient evil you have entered here. Heed my instruction. I have to throw the weapons now, I see. I see a bunch of rusty halberds. Steady your aim, then throw the weapon at the enemy. Okay. So it is slightly different. Um... Your other attacks are ineffective here, ready yourself. Yeah, I got it, I got it, bro, I got it. Well, I just grab all the rusty halberds and waste those, because I'm not wasting my good weapons. Not that I have too many, but whatever. Got me! <laughs> okay, I can only have three. Uh, boop, easy. Well done. And then I just uh, throw another one. Shouldn't be too tough. At least like add another enemy, surely. Watch the enemy's movements and throw the weapon carefully. I will not throw it carefully. I am just gonna go Ongo Bunga. I'm pulling out my weapon right now, and I am throwing it immediately. Uh, uh, oh, oh, look at you. Oh no, I missed. Oh no, whatever will I do? <laughs> I have another one. Ah, uh, boop. Easy. Easy, dude. All I to do is like wait for him to try to attack me, and then I just throw the thing. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Well, that shrine only took like 20 seconds. <laughs> whatever. Hopefully the chest will have at least something good. Let's see here. Chest, have something good. Mm, okay, I'll take it. That's fine. You know what, that actually works. It had like a long uh, throw effect to it too. That actually works. Cause you basically threw spears in this shrine. So it's like here, here's, here's one for yourself to try on. It even has like the long throw effect on it too. Not bad. Well, not good, but it, it makes sense for that to be the prize, I guess. Well, I did say I was going to go help that Korok, however, I think there's going to be a piece of Misko's treasure in here, thanks to this big ol' uh, X right here, yep. Wait, shock resistant outfit? Ooh. Hmm, that's going to be helpful. I don't think it would be the Gerudo helm, but we'll see. Boop! Alright, let's get on in here. Discovery, it's the Whistling Hill Cave. Yes, that's right, we've passed by Whistling Hill. It's where I thought uh, freaking Spot was in the last episode. I think I already hear the frog, no way. Really? Uh, nope, I guess I lied. I swear I heard the frog, what the heck? Oh no, I did! There it is! Just hiding up at the top. All right, boop! Easy. Well, at least we got the frog down. Still gotta find the treasure, but the frog is technically a treasure too. Now there's multiple ways to go, but let's head this way first. Party truffle, boop! And, okay, we're jumping down. I did not mean to do that, Tulin. <laughs> There's a reason I have you guys off sometimes. Uh, ah, hello there. Wait for it. Ooh, easy, dude. Very easy. Oh, okay. It still keeps going. Interesting. Maybe we got a bit of a decently sized cave here. Slice on through this. And we got a chest here, but I don't think this is going to be Misko's treasure. Is it? No, not quite. Yeah, Misko's treasure I feel like would be a little harder to find than just, uh... A little random chest in here. Oh, hello, rock-like. I should have seen that coming. Ah, no, the prizes, they're going down. It's okay, I'll go back from, yo, you know, but I didn't, this is partially why I turned the spirits off sometime, or like whatever these things are called. Uh, oh, Royal Bow, I don't think we've got one of those yet. 
Um, cool. But yeah, dude, sometimes I'm like pressing A to try and get stuff and I accidentally trigger their freaking skills. It's a little annoying, but whatever. Now I can make use of it. You know, Bo? Come here, pal. Go kaboom! There we are. All right, let me farm up this stuff in here before I go in there. Oh, I see a shock like. Is that all? Nah, surely this wouldn't just be for the shock like. Also, stay clear of the water. Eey! Eey! I'm scared. That water could be dangerous. Oh, I missed it. Gosh dang it. Oh, wait, it's behind it. Okay. It's like the guardian of the treasure. I see how this is. Oh, yo, Tool and I with the synchronized shots. Let's go, buddy. Down it goes. Okay. Well, I know you Novo can't reach that, so I'm just going to blow it up preemptively. There we go. And let's see. Oh, yes, we got some more shock fruits. Yes. I want more of those. I I'll probably be able to find some more in the Farron region, but still. Another royal shield, bro. Huh. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm just running out of bad shields to replace them with, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. We found the end. Misko's treasure. All right. Is it the Gerudo helm? Or what is this exactly? Okay, just part of the rubber armor. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. That'll actually probably come in handy someday. Who knows? Okay, there were in, there's another way right here. I want to see what this is. Is there more behind here or is it... Ah, hello. Can't say I was expecting that. You know, I have a metal weapon, but the stone blocked the uh, electricity from hitting me. That's so cool. Alrighty, there we go. We explored the entire cave. Very cool. Now let's help this little Korok pal. All right, little buddy. Where's your friend? For then I got separated. It's time for the big ol'. Oh, geez, they're always like decently far, huh? Okay, well, time to do our old classic flying machine. Oh, your friend was right where I was earlier. How about that? Boop, there we are. Thanks for bringing my friend, here's something for you. Yes, once again, two more Korok seeds. Yay, I've reunited so many pals together. Okay, our next target is Lake Colomo. Haven't been there yet, so let's make our way over there. Oh, we made it. Here we are, right next to it. Colomo Garrison Ruins. Oh, looky looky, a treasure chest. They're kind of hard to spot sometimes. <laughs> Look at that thing flying around. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, enough with the Royal Shields. I've got plenty. All right, Spring Shield, you did, you did your best. <laughs> but a, a lot of people hit that, so it was probably somewhat close to breaking. I'm getting so many shields. I was gonna say, normally, I don't like getting a lot of weapons, but right now I want more weapons than I do shields. I keep getting freaking shields. Eh? Another royal bow. Oh my gosh. Huh. You know what? I'm just farming up weapons. That's honestly fine, dude. We're probably gonna need them when we uh, start doing some more plot. Over here we have a quick little Korok. Boop. Let's do that. Korok, let's go. Hi, Korok, buddy. Yahaha. -ha. I am a Korok. So very cool and special and friendly. <laughs> what am I saying, bro? <laughs> that right there also looks like it could be a Korok. Let's go see. Is it? Yep, it sure is. That's one of the free Koroks, too. When it's just a random rock just sitting somewhere, those are some of the freest Koroks to ever exist. I see another well over here and also another Moblin. Okay, well, time to beat this loser up. Then we'll see what's down that well. There we go, Aquamay Lake Well. Okay, let's see what's down here. Uh huh. Oh, hey. Oh, wait, one. Hi, what's up? One, two. Can I count with you? No, no, I'm afraid you'd only make the count more difficult. Wait, this is Yiga. Truth be told, I was just counting the number of grievances I have against a certain someone. So many of my brethren have been cut down, you see. The harm we've suffered is truly beyond measure. <laughs> yeah, I noticed because Eightfold Blade is in there, and the way how it's just named Traveler. Yep, I've eagerly waited this moment, Link. <laughs> this is for my kin! Well, wait. Okay, I thought he was about to just fight me as a Traveler. <laughs> he pulled out, like, the weapons and whatnot. Okay, well. Okay. Get him! <laughs> Bro. He just destroyed him. Oh my gosh. Eightfold Blade, and yet another Eightfold Blade. Very cool. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to get the arrows. See you know what I mean, dude? Sometimes you just have them crash into things when you don't even want them to. Well, other than that, it's a pretty simple well. Not much to say about that, but again, we got to get all the wells thanks to the big old side quest that's like, oh, you got to find every single well in the entire game. All right, everybody. I'm very close to the arena with the Gleok. And I haven't fought a Gleok yet, but I think now is finally the time. 
I think I want to give it a shot. I have fought five Lynels, bro. If I can fight five Lynels, I can fight one Gleok. Surely. I think it's time. Oh, dear. I can see it in there, dude. An electric Gleok. So there's more than one kind, huh? Actually, this Gleok is right above where I fought the five Lynels, so... This is perfect. Oh, dear. Look at this thing, dude. Look at how evil it looks. Oh, man. I'm, I'm freaking nervous, dude. I really am. The Thunder Gleok. All right. Well, there's our picture. Oh, man. We're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. We're going in. Oh, it already noticed me. All right. Thunder Gleok, what do you got? Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I understand. <gasps> okay. Just impossible to dodge things. Uh. No, 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 no. Oh, everything is, oh my gosh. <gasps> no way. No, get this bow off me. Get this bow off me. How the heck do I beat this now? Oh my gosh. Thank goodness for the speed up. How the heck do I beat this? Uh. It's taking to the skies. Oi. Oh, that's scary. Thank goodness for speed up. Stop. Please. Okay. I gotta just... All right, you know what? I'm gonna try something here. Not the bomb, not the bomb. Oi, I'm scared. Okay. What if we try to home in? Let's get one hit off, please. Hey, we did it. That did nothing. That literally did nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh gosh, this was not a good idea. Actually, I do have a good idea though. I have this that I've been saving for a rainy day, literally. Oh gosh, wait, the head. It took a lot of damage, but it also, wait, the heads, they have their own separate HP bar? Hold on, oh, they do. That's interesting, okay. We have a chance here. That's interesting. I just gotta like, wait for a second. They just keep firing those freaking things. Okay, back on the ground. Oh, stop these beams, dude. Ah, oh, I'm running out of stamina. Whee! I have nowhere else to run. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go. Okay. Is that one head defeated? I think it is. That's good, that's good. That's progress. Not much, but it's progress. Ugh. Okay, nice. He's gotta keep firing these. He's gotta keep firing these, come on. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I've never just... Oh, this is like so much scarier than a Lionel, dude. I feel like I've, I've messed up one time. It's just over. Come on. Oh, wait, the middle head is back. Gosh, dang it. How the heck am I supposed to stop it all? Ugh. Bro, what was that? That damage is insane. All right, I have a better idea. What if I run up this? If I run up this, I'll have a better chance. I can also take cover, actually. This is perfect. I have to use the land to my advantage. Oh, gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Use the land to your advantage. Here we go. See? We can block it off a little bit. Okay. And lightning can't hit me when I'm under here, I think? I actually don't know. Fire! Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, see, see? It can't find us that well. Okay, use the land to your advantage. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. No, run, 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 run. Come on, come on. There's only one left. There's only one left. We have a chance here, we have a chance. I think if I hit all four, it might fall. Come on. Go! Yes, yes, yes! Onto the ground, yes! Oh, now's our chance. Oh, now's our chance! Okay, use the strongest weapon we have. That does nothing, are you serious? No way! This actually does nothing. The Gleok, bro, oh my gosh. Get away from me, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh! Oh gosh. Look at they're all combining it into one. Sheesh. Okay, up we go again. Up we go again. Dude, did, oh my gosh. Oh, did you notice? I don't know if you noticed. It was actually daytime for like a second. When the Gliok falls, the thunder goes away. That's cool, dude. That's a really cool touch. Let's try some bomb arrows here. Okay. That's damage. That is good spread damage. It's only hitting one head though. Oh dear. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Bomb arrows are decently effective, though. I do like having speed. I think I am gonna get the speed back on. What the? Oh, that's different now. Wait, they're shooting fireballs now. 
Whoa, and it has, yo, the fire has like freaking electric spread. That's so cool, what the heck? Oh dear. All right, come on. Oh, look at that, it's mobility is crazy. I do like no damage, bro. Ah, I need cover, I need cover, I need cover, I need cover, I need cover. Oh my gosh. Dude, did you see how it predicted where I was gonna go? Yo. Oh my gosh, I need cover. No, please, 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 please. Ah! No. Ah! ah, where do I go? Come on, I need that speed. I need that speed right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what would've, would've been good? Having electric immunity right now. If I had, if the thing I found earlier was the freaking uh, helm, that would've been so much better. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Relentless breath, bro. Oh! Okay. The second floor was definitely the best, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's falling back down, I think. Oh, this is perfect. If I'm gonna use the Savage Lionel Bow, it's gotta be now. Yes. Rain down bomb arrows. Yes. Oh, that is damage. Yes, that is damage. Come on. Take out those heads. Is that it? Is that our chance? I see regular weather patterns. Okay, that's our chance. Oh, we're doing it, dude. Go. Oh, it's super effective against the heads. Okay. Yes, definitely attack the heads then. Yes, this is much better. Better than attacking the body. Okay. Okay, I have a better idea. I gotta try something here. If I get a, if I can quickly get a. Rocket on my shield, I can fly up so far. Oh, it's just gonna go fast. Go up, 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 yeah, there we go, woo! Okay, then immediately unequip everything that we got. Oh, scary, dude. Scary, 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 scary stuff. Get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, okay. Yep, it's still going for the breath attacks. See, when it tries to pinpoint where I'm gonna be, I, I can outrun it. I can outrun it with the speed. Oh, gosh. At least I thought I could. <laughs> oh, I gotta avoid so much. Ah! The huge beams, dude! That is so scary. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the second floor is definitely the, the, the best way if we want cover. It's definitely the best floor to hide out in. Alright, bomb arrows, go! Come on, bomb arrows. Watch it, watch it. I don't want to use bomb arrows too much. Okay. It's down on the ground again. Okay. Keep going. I think that's it. I think that's it. Regular weather. Yep, there we go. That's how you can tell. Cause the regular weather. Okay, I think we have a good chance here. We could definitely beat it. As long as I'm not stupid, we got this. Preempty, pull out the rocket. All right, then get a shield out. Uh, fuse, fuse. No, fuse, here we go. All right, get back up, go, 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 go. Oh, are you serious? The wing hit me, no! Go, 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 go! Oh, the wing hit me, bro. I did not think the wing would hit me. Oh gosh, where are the stairs? There they are. Where'd it go? Wait, it's so high up. What's it doing? No. Is it going for like one final attack? What is it doing, dude? <gasps> no way! Yo! Dude! I'm supposed to go up there and hit it, aren't I? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. All right, go. I'm going up towards you, this is what you want, right? I don't have a good chance, oh my gosh. No, 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 I don't know what you're doing. I'm so scared. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm trying to fly up there, but it doesn't last for very long. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's so terrifying. Especially the electric. Just go for it. Yeah, there we go. Do it again. Shoot him out of the sky. Is that, is that good? Is that good? No, it's not satisfied. Okay, come on. Yes. Yes, come on. Fall, darn you. Fall! <laughs> Is it falling? I don't even know anymore. Okay, I'm scared. I'm out of stamina, oh no. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, I have stamina potion, right? I think I still have a few. Careful, careful. I don't know what it's going for anymore. I really don't. I just hear the mighty roars, dude. Okay, that again, huh? All right, here we go. Come on, nope, that's, it changed color. I got scared. <laughs> it looked blue there for a second. I thought it was about to electrocute it again. Oh gosh, thank goodness there is cover, bro. If I had to fight the ice one, it'd be over. Cause there's no cover one to fight that. Ah, it ran away. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just barely avoided that. Oh my goodness. All right, now it's the, the time. No, don't, it's falling right where I'm going. Oh my gosh. Ah, ah. 
navigating through all this is terrifying. Come on! <laughs> Fall, darn you! Fall! Come on! <laughs> I think I had to beat it with the arrows. Come on. It's now or never. It's now or never! Finish it! Yes, that's it, isn't it? Oh! That's it! I did it! I beat the Gleok. I did it. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! I did it. Gleok Thunderhorn. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so intense. Oh, we beat it though. Oh my gosh. That was actually insane, dude. Oh. <laughs> Yo. 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 Oh. I can relax. <laughs> Jeez, dude, that was insane. That was actually crazy, dude. There was like so many different phases. Oh, that was scary. That was really scary. If I didn't have this Coliseum, like if I didn't fight it in this Coliseum, I probably would have died. Like if I took on that ice one, it, that was just free rain, right? I would have had no cover at all. Oh, that was crazy. That was so crazy. And that was just the thunder one. The, the, the other ones, there's probably fire and ice ones too. I, they, they probably aren't that different from each other, but they're probably different enough to where it's like, you still gotta worry about it. Oh, I can't believe it, dude. That was much harder than a Lionel. Oh my gosh. That's that's the super boss of this game, dude. That is, that is the top tier level bosses in this game. Oh my gosh. That's so much better than having just a bunch of random Lionel or freaking Moblins here. Back in Breath of the Wild, this area was just filled with moblins and that was it. But having a Gleok instead, dude, that's so much cooler. Oh, <sighs> We finally took one down though, we finally did. That's so cool. I'm just gonna see what's at the top here as well, just to see if there's anything interesting. Actually, now that I think about it, there definitely was a Lionel in here too, but it was at the bottom and the moblins were all like around this area. Oh, <sighs> dude. I still can't believe we beat a Gleok, that's insane. I was going into the fight, I was like, I'm gonna just die, bro. I'm gonna just die. And I was definitely right to stay away from them for that long because that was hard, dude. That was hard. If I didn't use my freaking Lionel bow with the bomb arrows, there was no chance, dude. I would have been in that fight so long. Oh, <sighs> okay. I don't really think I see anything up here. I think we're good. Oh, sorry. I'm just, I'm exhausted, man. That that fight took out, that took so much out of me. It really did. <laughs> In a good way, in a good way. I feel so satisfied after being able to beat that thing. Is there anything on top of this mountain? Ah, this is the- oh, that's where the minigame was, that's right. Alright. Okay, we're kind of circling back to things I've explored again, so if that's the case, I want to go to the ancient tree stump, actually. That's my next goal. Once we do that, I might want to head over to that other stable, see what's up over there. Oh, look at how pretty it is right now, dude. So freaking pretty, dude. Also, for those wondering why I didn't use Tulin or uh, freaking Yonobo in the fight, I wanted to see if I could do it solo. I wanted to challenge myself. <laughs> okay, so here we are, made it to the ancient tree stump. I'm pretty sure back in uh, Breath of the Wild, there were just this was just like an enemy base, and uh, at the center of it was like a flame blade, I think, or like a great flame blade. Now, I think, with the keys out of the way, oh, what the heck? Okay, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. Ancient tree stump cave. Yeah, there's a... You can definitely tell we're beneath a freaking tree stump. Oh my gosh, dude. There's stuff everywhere. This actually feels like a mini dungeon almost, dude. Okay. This is actually... There's actually a lot to this. Uh-huh. Well, it doesn't go that deep, but... Hmm. Oh, we found the frog. Okay. Oh, I don't want to keep using that bow. That was the great eagle bow! No! Now it's not at max durability. It's fine. It's whatever. Not a big deal. I can always make another one. Oh, yeah, give me that before it falls into the freaking water. It probably would have floated, but still. Well, now that we got the frog, this is technically a complete cave, but I still wanna explore around, mine up all the stuff. You know how it is. Oh, looks like we got some more stuff to explore this way. Let's see what's in here. I was gonna say, this uh, whole cave doesn't really have too much to it. However, it's starting to go back up from over here. Hmm, interesting. 
You know, it's funny. This is probably a good spot where you would want to put Misko's uh, treasure. I see, like, little flags down here. Maybe maybe there is some Misko's treasure? Maybe this is pointing to it, those little flags? Let's see. Oh. No, I keep seeing... Oh. Hey! What did I say, dude? Misko's treasure. Didn't even need uh, someone's advice to come and get this one. It makes sense, though. The ancient tree stump surely would have to have some. Fierce deity boots. Ooh, that's really good. That is really good. Now I have two sets of the barbarian armor. Or wait. Wait, that's fierce deity. Uh, is that usually what the barbarian... No, I don't think the barbarian armor was called that. Okay, well, now I have two things of attack up. That's really good, but I'm pretty sure the fierce deity is a completely separate set. Oh, now I can say that this cave has been truly 100% explored. Let's go. Alrighty, after all the exploring that we did, I do have a few places to check out. I want to check out this... The Appalian Forest, and then finally end off by getting right here where there is a stable. Uh, this is not a stable too, right? I don't think it is. Anyway, let's go check out those last few areas, then we'll call it a day. Okay, well the first thing here was just an enemy hideout, so nothing too crazy. Is there any good enemies in there? Ooh, that's right, the silver, he saw me. Okay, the silver boss. Uh, wait, I wanna get him blowing his horn. There we go. Uh, did it do him? It did, okay, cool. I haven't taken a picture of him yet. I actually wanna fight him. See how strong he is, you know? As I have pretty much nothing but garbage weapons left. <laughs> I'll definitely be using my partners. Ew, look at him, he's so nasty. He's actually so disgusting, bro, oh my gosh. Okay, I haven't even done any hits yet, I've just been kinda defending. Yeah, case in point. <laughs> but uh, Tulin and uh, Yanova have actually been going kinda crazy with it. Good on you guys. No Koroks on top, I can say that for sure, ooh. Can I uh, use those bombs against them? Let's see here. Oh, there's a chest up here too. Oh, huh, there's actually a lot of stuff in the in the scholar. Oh, what the? Where'd you come from? Are you like the guardian of the top side? Huh, okay then. Well, let's uh, let's keep dropping these things on them, I suppose. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Doesn't really work as well as I wanted it to, but whatever. Ooh, I was dead if I didn't parry that. Let's go, dude. I gotta be careful. Oh I, oh, I thought I beat him. Okay, never mind. You know, but it's got a good hit on him. Okay, I don't think I wanna take that chance anymore because I literally do not have very. Yo! Yunobo can block? Is he dead? Nope, Yunobo's just doing really good damage, dude. That's really good. And the silver one is just outside, busy. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I was worried about that silver one because I don't want him to hit my back. Okay, now the boss is dead. Let's go! We defeated the boss. That's awesome. Okay, now it's gotta defeat this little one. Okay, whoo! He almost hit me, but we got him in the end. Thank freaky goodness. Okay, I do want to take a quick picture of the boss's, uh, whatever it is. Not the fang, not the fang, not the fang. This thing, yeah. The big ol' horn. There we go. I guess it's kind of like a... It reminds me of that, like, sickle weapon from Breath of the Wild. That was, like, the circle. I forget what it was called, but it was cool. It was, like, the upgraded Yiga clan weapon or whatever. And in the chest we got... Let's see. Hinox hammer. Okay. At least it's actually somewhat powerful compared to all my mid weapons. <laughs> Look at this. I got a full royal kit on, dude. That's so cool. <laughs> all right, here we are in the apple forest or whatever. There are clearly lots of apples here. Something that I want to try is uh, using my apple farming technique, which I stole from the internet. And that is to... Uh... Okay, there's maybe not as many apples as I thought. But basically the point is you do this and you get a bunch of apples from all these nearby places. Isn't that a neat idea? I think it's pretty neat. Then again, these all look like apple trees, but there are no freaking apples. Why call it apple woods when there's no apples? What the heck? Why are there no apples? That seems a little weird. These are all clearly apple trees, and yet there's not a single apple to be found. Okay, there's a few, but very, very few, very few apples. Seems a little odd if you ask me. <laughs> Not even a Korok, bro. What? Okay, that was weird. That's a bunch of apple trees with hardly any apples. Satori Mountain does a better job of this. What the heck? Well, anyways, regardless of apple-ish trees, there is the stable that we're looking for. And right under here, we should find a Korok somehow, right? There it is. We go boop. Hmm. Is there any way to get over there very quickly? Without having to swim in the water? I suppose that there would be. I can just cheat. Watch me cheat. Woo! <laughs> oh, that is such cheating, dude. 
But whatever, it's raining out right now. I don't want to mess around with that. <laughs> yeah, ha ha, Korok Seed. All right, bye-bye. I see a, ca a little cave over there for some enemies. I will check that out after the stable. I know I said the stable would be last, but like maybe, maybe that cave over there has something to do with the uh, side quest that's at the stable. Because there's always a side quest or side adventure or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, what's down over here? Wetland stable. Yeah, we made it here. Uh, is this a battery? I think it is. Huh. Well then, I'll ignore that for now. Impossible, sure enough. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Oh look, finally, more splash fruits. What the heck, dude? Why are these things so rare? I can like never find them anywhere. Okay, hope they stay away. Yeah, we'll, we'll come and talk to you guys in just a minute. I'm looking for the freaking shrine. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's hiding in the freaking woods. No wonder I couldn't see it that well. Okay, yeah, we'll get the shrine done, do all the stuff at the stable, and then, yeah, that's probably a lot, but we'll have a long episode today. I just want to get this kind of stuff done, you know? It's good to get this done. Forward Force. Alrighty. Forward Force makes me think of a recall shrine, but I could be wrong here. Everything's closed off here. Let's see what's down over here. Hmm. Forward Force, you say? Alright, there is a lot of, uh, puzzly things here. Well, my first thought is to just, uh, do that. And unlike in Goron of uh, City, I can activate it and not be stupid. Uh, it's a little off, but it works. Okay. Oh, it's even trying to head on up here. Okay. You don't need to work that hard, buddy. But, uh, thanks anyway. Next up is, uh, okay. I suppose we attach this on here. And it will kind of roll up? Maybe? I actually don't know about this one. Hmm. Nope. Not quite. It involves this somehow, too. I don't know if this will do anything, but we'll try. Maybe it can, like, go... Oh! 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 That worked much better than I thought it would. Huh. How about that? It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we just gotta keep using all these little techniques to take uh, to take this ball over. Next would be down over here. Uh huh. Looks like we gotta go rafting, I suppose. Would we not just say go? I don't understand. What's the difficulty here, and why are there so many different lanes? Okay, well, oh, oh, I was about to say I'm not gonna overthink it. However, there's the chest. <laughs> I can grab it, okay. Cool, cool. What do we got? Something good? Mm-hmm, hmm, hmm. Nope, not good. Uh, better than this mid, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna overthink it, and uh, let's just go. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? How come that's not working? Does it not have enough? Oh, it doesn't have enough power. How about now? Really? Still not enough power, huh? Maybe the logs are too heavy. Maybe we have to use these lighter ones instead? I'm gonna hope this works because I don't really know what to do if this doesn't. Ooh. Yikes. Uh, can he even go without it? Bro, what? I don't understand. Okay, I have a new idea. I don't think it's gonna work well, but what if we use these as like the ground and then yeah, that's it. That's the idea. <laughs> Then all we gotta do is just, uh, boop, and see if I can grab it from the other side. This feels like cheating, but I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It reaches. Uh, don't give me da na 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 I cheated, bro. That was not the right way. <laughs> I don't know what the right way was, though, so, uh, is that all? Oh, okay, that's free. Um, well then, we, uh, we got it. Boop. There we go. Are you proud of me, Raru? I cheated. I, to I totally cheated, dude. I mean, <laughs> I'm honestly quite curious how you were supposed to do that, but whatever. I won't think about it too hard or else I'll just be feeling stupid for the rest of the day, but whatever. How many is that now? 23? Oh boy. Oh boy. You, you think it's funny now, but we're going to use them up all at once and then, then you'll see who's laughing. Because I'll tell you right now, it definitely won't be the monsters. <laughs> now, Wetland Stable. Let's see here. Let's explore the well. Oops, didn't grab all the splash fruits. That's okay. Ooh. All right, this one's a bit more promising than the rest of the stable wells. It seems like the stable wells are usually like some of the most underwhelming wells. 
Again, I said underwhelming again with the stupid well pun. It's not intentional. At least that one has a rare ore deposit. Okay, I just got three ambers and two rubies. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Tireless frogs. Okay, okay, you know what? You know what? That wasn't like insane, but it wasn't bad either. I'll take that. That's a okay well. Oh, wait, there's another well. Huh? Wait a minute, what? I just... Oh! Oh, there's two wells that are connected! Interesting! Well, then! <laughs> that will probably go into... I say that's a B tier. Yeah, that's a B tier well. Okay, before we do the side quest, as always... Look at the little birds next to Pen! That's so freaking cute! Okay, let's talk to this loser, get our pony point. Night Owl, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Stable Association, one more point. Reward is still available. <laughs> I might actually have two rewards available. Okay. Uh, nothing to say there. Zor's Domain, yeah. All that good water polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. As far as I know, no one knows where it came from. It's terrible for the Zor, of course, being water folk. I'm not sure how they'll manage. Zor's Domain is to the east of the Laneiru Wetlands. I used to recommend it to tourists, but, well... I see. That's actually the first that we've heard about this place. The water seems to be going bad. Okay, let's see what our rewards are here. I don't actually know. The last reward was the Melania bet or whatever, so we could talk to the horse god, which I believe is also an Akala, which we should be heading to in the next episode, actually. Uh, ten reports, additional, okay, yeah, the horse, I think that's, uh, oh, Traveler's Saddle, okay. That's just another saddle and a bridle, okay. Uh, it's three more points. Main restyling service, oh, that's right, I remember that thing, yeah. That was available from a side quest in Breath of the Wild, now I remember that. Alrighty. What else do we got here at the old stable? How are these people doing over here? I'll go tomorrow? What's Hi. up? Uh, hello there, pleasant evening we're having. Yeah. You're the one who was searching for the same bubble frog I was, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, after we met, curiosity got the better of me and I decided to go looking for a bubble frog in a cave. But that was not a great idea. Caves are dark and there's no way to know what's lurking around in there. Plus, that strange duo, they just up and disappeared from Woodland Stable. Ah. After that, I didn't really know what to do with myself, so I did some wandering and some thinking too, and ended up here. And you know, I've decided that I'm a careful man. I'll take comfort and safety over rewards and riches any day. That's fair. Okay, was he talking about Kilton and Colton or whatever? I'll go tomorrow. I really should be making conversation. I'm supposed to be on my way to the ring ruins in Kakariko Village. Then again, when the sun goes down, the monsters come out, so maybe I'll wait till morning. <laughs> yeah, I already know, but go ahead and tell me. Whatever. Kakariko Village, yep. If you want to go to Kakariko Village, just head toward that ring-shaped thing in the distance. That's one of the ring ruins. Lots of folks have been talking about that spot, and our research team as well as the public. Yeah. Fair warning, you'll run into some tourists. They've been flocking to the ruins lately. Yeah, I know, I've been there. You probably know that fallen Zonai ruins have been found all over the world since the upheaval. Well, the ones at Kakariko Village have been dubbed the Ring Ruins, owing to their distinctive circular shapes. There's also some stone slabs there with the words like Sage and Demon King carved into the Zonai script. Uh. The leader of our team, the best in the world at deciphering Zonai script, is heading up the investigation in person. It's all very, very exciting. I just wish the place was a little easier to get to. Oh. I should get going too. My fellow researchers will start wondering where I am. <sighs> then again, monsters do come out in full force at night, so why risk it? I'll depart at sunup. All right, I'll hold you to that, bro. <laughs> now, what was up with uh, this person down over here? Impossible, surely enough. I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but I haven't got a single minute to spare right now. But the stable is open, so you can ask the counter if you need anything. Okay. What are you looking for, bro? I'm also gonna steal these fish. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope they stay away. Are you talking about those monsters? I saw some, yeah, they're like monsters pretty close by. So that's probably what you're talking about. Hi there. Well, good morning, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Where to the wise, even though it's daytime, I'd stay away from the forest near here if I were you. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. I mean, forestress. I mean, fortress. Anyway, it's B-A-D bad news, and it brought some other monsters with it. And look. I'm looking. Yeah. I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. Oh, wait, that was the... I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but I thought it would be pretty tough. Yeah, dig a whole hole. <laughs> what if the monster, 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 monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep. I can barely talk. I thought maybe I'd try to sneak attack from behind, you know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go so well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave. We'll keep wishing, but for now, he really should still clear of the forest. An uninvited guest, huh? 
Well, shouldn't be too difficult to take care of. When they say the big one, they're probably talking about the Moblin, right? Hmm. Well, I do see a silver, uh, freaking, yeah, that's a silver one. That's a little scary, but this shouldn't be too tough. They only wanted the Moblin to go, right? The Moblin is free, bro. You just wanted the big one? Bro, the, 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 the threat is the silver one, bro. <laughs> Red one's down? Okay, it's just the silver one. Let's go. Good to know. Uh, I'm so scared to make a move because they're so fast. I mean, yes. Stay on fire, loser. Stay on fire. Ah. I'm so scared. Okay. Just go for it. <laughs> Just go for it, dude. Okay. Surely I can finish it off? Oh, not quite. Come on. We're so close. We got to Come on. There we go. Whew. That was the hard one. Okay. And we even got its freaking horn. That's good. At least I'm pretty sure we got it. Okay, well, I'm at a, I've actually been right here before. And I remember these little signs. This is where it like points to a Korok. However, last time I didn't see the Korok. But it's right here. Huh. Well then. That was actually pretty easy. You know what? Maybe last time it didn't show up because monsters were attacking me. That's probably what it was. All right, child. Taken care of. It, it was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster. I knew it. I thought I saw you among the trees, putting in the work and getting rid of that nasty monster. Ooh. Amazing, thank you. I was so scared. I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything, but I have a, uh, I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so I'll give you two pony points. Oh, okay, I didn't know you had the authority to do that. Now I can welcome our customers with peace of mind. Thank you so much. Okay, you know what? That's actually not bad. That's actually not even bad. Okay, well, I think now our final thing of the day uh, besides the freaking monster base, of course, is to talk to old Pen here. Hey, partner, get a good night's sleep? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We don't have time to squawk right now. I've got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed this uh, stable's farm tools. Mm. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them, and didn't. Now, this might all seem trivial. She's a busy princess, after all. Still, these are strange times. So I got to thinking, only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Pen, hold on. You've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. Okay, the missing farm tools. That would be this guy right down over here, yeah? Uh, that's the raft, it looks like. I mean, really, why? Hi there. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with a uh, pen from the newspaper, right? I didn't want this to get out, because I don't want people thinking I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed our stable's farm tools and haven't given them back. Yeah, well, I don't think she'd have a chance to. <laughs> that was a really long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Florette Sandbar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. I'd take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say that I'm in a bind. Okay. Ah, uh, I know we could clear this mess if someone could take me down river to uh, Florette Sandbar on the raft. Um, can I not just ultra hand and Okay, I mean, that was easier than expected. Wait, there's a steering stick. What the? Where's my raft? I better put it back where it was to start. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? But am I, huh? I'm confused. Am I not supposed to take your raft? Okay, there's like a seat on it. Maybe I'm supposed to take you with me? I don't understand, dude. All right, how's that? Can I, do I have to ask you or whatever? Huh, I wonder why the princess will take the... Uh, I could take you, yeah, let's go. What, you mean that fella? You'll take me to Florida Sandbar? Oh. Thanks, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you uh, offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go on the trip with him, I see. Oh, he's just chilling. Oh my gosh. This is worth a commemorative photo, I think. Have I taken a picture of a boomerang yet? I have not. Very cool. Cut the rope like that mobile game, and we move. Uh, sort of. So, dude, no Zonai, uh battery showed up is that little battery there just like infinite hmm maybe so careful at the river bend okay i mean seems simple enough just keep on oh this is this is pretty easy to turn what the heck this isn't bad at all out of the way ducks move 
It was actually kind of fun. It's just like a nice little stroll past those ruins. This is actually just like a nice little stroll. Or little fun trip. Dude, this actually reminds me of like my Boy Scouting days when I used to go kayaking. With my entire troop. It was so fun, dude. I kind of want to go kayaking again. <laughs> I, I miss kayaking. Kayaking down the river is so fun. If you ever get the chance to do it, definitely do it. Highly underrated. I don't hear people talk about it that much. It's really fun. And like, it only takes like... I mean, I guess you'd have to, uh, straight down river. Gotcha, bud. I mean, you, you have to, like, plan the trip, I suppose. But, like, if there's a river nearby you, and you have, like, a kayak you could rent, I guess it would take a little bit, but I don't know. If you if the opportunity presents itself, I would definitely give it a try, because it's really fun. And I did one of those every year, because the, the way my Boy Scout troop worked is, is, like, we would have, like, 12 months, and each month we would do a different, uh, camp out stop near that dock. Oh, dock. Okay. We're up there. That's pretty easy. Um, and yeah, every, every single, uh, every, I think like eight out of the 12 months, we would do like the same type of camp out, like just in different spots. But then like every four others would be like a mix it up or whatever. But every year we would go on a freaking canoeing slash ki uh, kayaking trip. And I would always choose to uh, use the kayak because kayaking is so much better. They're easier to control and you can do it all by yourself. So you don't get stuck with like wow. some person who doesn't know how to actually control a canoe anyways woohoo we made it <laughs> sorry for the just ramble there it was just nostalgic i guess you did a great job getting us here where'd you learn to handle a raft like that oh, i was did you, did you not hear me ramble about the kayaking <laughs> i thought i'd turn uh be a tough run but it turned out all fine huh up in the sky there's something uh someone coming at us is it pen i'd imagine it would be yep hey bud Ugh, finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right down on to help. But, uh, where are we? Good question. <gasps> no, is this Flower Blight Ganon? No way. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Just barging in here. This place is for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You better watch out. You'll rue the day you trample on any of them. No way, that's Flower Blight Ganon. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, who's this? Uh, ever met her before, partner? Yes, I have. Uh, she's even more powerful than the Gleok, let's just say that. Uh. Uh, sorry, ma'am, we're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda ways back. I promise you won't pick any flowers. Uh. Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them! Wait a minute, farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Uh. That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, but the princess, well, they say she went missing. And all our hard work was ruined when ugh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to try and make, uh, I'll make it all nice again. Really, that's what happened? Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable's tools back. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make it uh, make you hurry it up. Hmm. Oh, this is about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds just like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh. I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they was before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer, and here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also, nope, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, what's with the face? What? You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Uh? What? I didn't say that. What? Well, close enough. So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work on that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time princess, uh, the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah, uh, <sighs> can't talk my way out of this one. And she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. <laughs> oh. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Okay, then. Well... 
I guess we figured it out. Flower Blight Ganon, dude. <laughs> that's actually kind of nice that, like, Zelda actually helped her out. But, like, Zelda, careful. That's that's Flower Blight Ganon, dude. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted. And those two worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in the issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. You know, we've now chased five of the leads that might have something to do with Princess Zelda. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. And it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Ooh, yo, let's go. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Yo, double? Double in this economy? <laughs> I wish. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. Bye. So long. Wah, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> oh, that was fun. The missing farm tools. Well, there we go. We uh, figured it out. And here we are at the floor at Sandbar. I have to hurry. Okay. Are you going to yell at me if I stand on the flowers? Yep. Uh? Ouch. Ouch. That hurts. What are you doing? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming, if they could scream. Uh. So listen to them and don't do such awful things. Okay, I'm a little curious though. What happens if I do it again? Uh, we are, we told you already, that hurts. What would you do if our petals got torn off? We are beautiful living things who would never hurt anybody in this world. What kind of thoughtless monster would stomp all over us? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming, if they could scream. Uh. So listen to them, don't do such awful things. Okay, I gotta see, dude. I gotta see. Will she go insane? Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Uh? Okay, told you time and time again, uh, all the world loves a flower, you know? Flowers are beautiful, colorful, and have a pleasant scent. It's no surprise that we're so cherished, but it's surprising that you would go out of your way to hurt us. Uh? Do you think that makes you tough? Hurting poor, innocent, defenseless things? Oh, so scary. Whatever, just don't come near us again, got it? That's the flowers, okay, yeah, 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 uh? I, I figure. I just want to see if she goes crazy, you know? I'm a little curious. It's Flower Blight Ganon, dude. I think it was four times for the original Breath of the Wild. Let's see. Huh? huh? Oh. Okay. Huh? Nope. It's, uh, it's huh? the same. All right. I guess she doesn't go sicko mode. I am an awful yeah. person. Oh! <laughs> huh? It didn't huh? even let me. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Anyways, hi. Now then, there's no time to rest. I need to restore Hyrule's best garden as soon as possible so it's ready for when the princess returns. I see. Well, I appreciate you being hard at work. I just wanted to see if she would go sicko mode, you know? Oh. Hi there. All I wanted was those missing farm tools. I didn't expect anything like this. But for Princess Zelda, I'll work my hardest. Thanks. It's so good to see how beloved Zelda is by the people. Okay, our last thing to do today is to check out that cave that we saw right over here. Hi, Bloopy. <laughs> Still no reds, bro? Come on now. I swear the very first few bloopies I saw always dropped reds, and now, like, none of them do. Kind of unfortunate. Okay. Well, this looks, uh... Oh, I can hit those. I just did that on reaction. Good to know that I can hit those. All right. Discovery. Rabone Bridge Cave. Uh... Whoa. Okay, this is a horrible hideout. Uh, let me just, uh... Start blowing up the whole thing, I guess. I see that there's something above. Let me, uh... Boop. There we go. Okay, I wanted the not silver one to fall, but whatever. I'm trying to just kill the freaking red ones now. Yep. I think I'm dead. I don't think I can pull up my shield in time. I lied. We're good. Whew. That was scary. Oh gosh, these guys are scary. Uh, I don't like the silver one, bro. All the silver like enemies are so like fainty in this game, dude. I swear. Oh, yo, the double snipes. I'm in sync with Tulin again, dude. That's so good. Okay, it's done that thing where I stun him. Sometimes enemies just won't get up. It's actually pretty useful to, to just keep doing this, dude. Okay, it got up. If you, like, just keep up the flurries, sometimes they just, like, will fall on the ground and never get back up. It's pretty useful, honestly. I won't lie. Ooh, let's go, Tulin. Oh, let's go. You know, we'll finish them off. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even know that was a base. Okay. Well, now we got a few things to check out besides all the regular stuff in the cave. We gotta see what's up there and then what the chest is too and what's right here. Diamonds, please! Okay, I got topaz, two topazes and a ruby. That's good. Oh, there's two chests. Interesting. Okay. Well, this one has probably mid. 
Soldier's Spear, how- Okay, I mean, durability up, I'll take it. My favorite uh, effect is usually those durability plus plus effects because it's just, hey, I get to use this for a while, you know? And the chest that we got for uh, beating up all the enemies is... Bomb flower times five. I mean, eh, could be worse, I guess. Now, how the heck do we- Oh, it's just the frog up there. What the? Uh, I gotta use the bomb arrow because I can't reach it. And yep, that's good enough, it looks like. <laughs> there we are. Bubble jam, woo, we did it. Okay, well, that's it. We uh, got everything done that we needed to get done. So I suppose that will be it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, I plan to start heading to the Akala region because I'm very curious to see what's up with Terrytown and whatnot. So yeah, next episode, we'll be heading over this way. Get ready for that. Anyways, that'll be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.